Hi Sagittarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Law of Attraction Tarot and Oracle card readings for March 2024. These readings will be for all Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today we will start with a money reading, then we'll have a love reading. I've linked a Law of Attraction message in the description box below if you are interested in that, but let us begin here. All right. What advice do you have for Sagittarius to attract financial abundance and prosperity? What does Sagittarius need to know about money, please? So there used to be someone that would comment quite a bit who I absolutely loved and adored, and I do believe they were a Sagittarius. Their name was Nunya Business. Do you know who that is? I just keep thinking about him. I always think it's a woman, but maybe it was a guy. But anyway... If none of your business is still out there, I miss you. Okay, these are from the Moonology Manifestation Deck. I've already shuffled these, all right? You've got Last Quarter Moon and Leo lighting up, all right? So let's see what that's about. I feel like it might be a little bit of a nod to Needless Worry. You've got the Hanged Man, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Swords. Look, in, in the advice, you got the Devil. Okay, so the advice, but the outcome is the Queen of Swords. What I like about this is the swords were nobility in the tarot when the tarot cards were made. So swords are actually money. And so in terms of this, I feel like you have a decision to move forward. It is very cut and dried. So what, where it begins is right here. Let it begin with you is what I just heard him say. This energy of the hangman opens you up. And so I do feel like if you had some area of your life where perhaps... I get I here had a death grip on it, like something you didn't really want to let go of. This is surrender to win. So whether it was a house or a car or, you you know, I keep hearing I was just obsessed with this. Something in your life. I get it with the devil, too. Did I say you have two major arcana? So I do feel like if there was something, too, even that was a money drain that was you were leaking money as a result of the devil energy, because with this, it can be addiction. Yes. But it also to talk about overspending, overindulging, even with food, okay, even buying like wasting money on stuff. I mean, I've been known to throw out heads of lettuce here or there. I go, shoot, I bought too much or I didn't eat it, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but I do feel like with this, there's some kind of a change. There's a tipping point here. But overall with this, it is also seeing things in a new light. So I do feel like you're going to make some changes financially. And if it was something with moving or a job, I see it as going forward. So the Knight of Swords, this one is a jet setter's energy, by the way. Um, but he's in quite the hurry to do everything. So if you found like you one day almost leapt out of bed or leaped out of bed, however you'd like to say it, and said, I have to do this. I can't go one more day without a different job or if it was a move or even a car because this is like getting behind the wheel of a Maserati and going as fast as you can. It really is an energy too. If you had some, some area of your life where you took charge of something, I get step up and lead. If it was somebody who was making mistakes, if it was paperwork, if it was something like that, this energy is all about that, especially if you see people around you who are not getting the job done, you'll find that there's almost a driven urgency to your behavior. Now, if it's somebody who acted in your behalf because there was something, again, that was a miss or a rye, it doesn't hurt you at all. But I do feel like with the Queen of Swords, you have very clear communication coming. And let me tell you something with this one, that upright sword goes in your favor. So any contracts you sign will be flawless. A job offer will be straight up. I mean, there's nothing hidden here at all. She's also learned from mistakes. So as you move forward, if you've ever made a financial error, you say, yep, I took two years to pay off credit card debt. I won't get in that anymore or I won't go back into this financial pinch. That's what she represents. Now, with the devil, I mentioned this before, he is excess. So your advice, especially because I feel like you have more money coming in if it's a job change or if you're selling something, he also cautions you not to run around and spend all that money. Do something wise with it. Don't waste it on stuff and go, man, I wish I could go back to that period when I was flush. I wouldn't do that again. Okay, so he's your he's in your advice. So I do feel like we don't want to be chained to materialism. I mean, I like a new handbag myself too, but I feel like he's saying be smart with money. Well, you've got, you've got the mountain. 
Know that you are protected as you face challenges, but remain cautious. Well, I do feel like with this, if there's something here, I feel like you're going to overcome it. And I feel almost like with that Knight of Swords, you just run right through it. So I don't feel like you have anything to be too concerned about. But let's see about love here, Sagittarius. What advice do you have for Sagittarius to attract the love of their lives into their lives, please? What does Sagittarius need to know about love? All right, same setup, guys. Four cards with an oracle. You've got the Ace of Pentacles, the King of Cups. We like him in a love reading. Well, this is splendid. The Six of Wands is in the outcome. And you've got the Empress in your advice. Well, get ready to feel the love. I feel like, you know what, I don't usually do this in these readings, but you have the Ace of Cups on the bottom. And so the two Aces somehow spoke to me. But either way with this, it is a great reading. So you have a new love for somebody here with that Ace of Cups, now the Empress. But I definitely see this as a relationship, too, that is going to grow and evolve. This is long-term commitment. This is not, I met you once and I can't stop thinking about you and I don't even know your name. This is something that is going to evolve. And so with this, too, I also feel like in a relationship, I feel like it brings in more financial security, too, if you're moving in together or if you have, in, in terms of meeting somebody, in terms of planning for the future, it brings in just, I keep hearing solvency. And I feel like what they're saying is if, you've, if you have resolved debt, you know, you've gotten rid of some debt. I feel like as you move forward, we talked about the devil. You won't go back into that, okay, because of a relationship or in any any way, shape, or form related to this. So the King of Cups, you're wide open. And guess who you're attracting? Somebody who's quite mature and ready to love. And I feel like, too, there's something about this person. They're like a cup overflowing type of person. Very optimistic. Their energy is warm. It's easy. And even if they are a go-getter by nature, they don't need to brag about it. They don't need to tell everybody. They don't need to make sure everyone knows they're the best. You know, there's something about their spirit that is, it feels divine, of course, but it feels like somebody who's just got that quiet humility. They've got a lot going for themselves, okay? They really do. I mean, I, I feel like this person could be something like a doctor or something, and you wouldn't know until you've talked to them like two or three times. You know, they just don't need to put out everything out there. And it's not a secretive thing as much as it's like they just want to, they want to be known for who they are, not what they do. And so with the Six of Wands, I'll tell you what, you're going to have, you may have more than one looking at you, by the way. Um, with the Six of Wands, you get a lot of attention. But in terms of love, it's someone who will support you to the end and back. You have somebody coming in that not only wants a relationship with you, but they have a, a commitment like no other. And so with the Empress, she's, of course, ruled by love. And then this overflowing cup that I just couldn't resist She's also fertility, but I feel like their advice here is be open, be yourself, let your guard down and just be in the place of knowing that when people are talking to you, yeah, they are for a reason. Of course they are. They're attracted to you and have that place of people are coming, you know, with the highest intent, having good intentions, trusting people, not foolishly, but you know, there, there are 8 billion of them out there to trust and there's good ones. So you have focus on love. Look for the good in everyone. Didn't we just say this? I swear that's what I was getting at. Okay, that's your that's part of your advice, okay? Good things are on the way for you, Sagittarius. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.